Good afternoon, everyone. How is everybody doing today? If you are watching us live, uh, say hi in the comments. Let us know where you're connecting from. If you're going to be watching us in replay, put hashtag replay and also let us know where you're connecting with us from so we can say hi back to you. So guys, as I promised, we're going to be doing a lot of testimonials this year to sharing other people's stories with you about how the travel business impact their life, how it's adding additional streams of income or how it is helping them to travel more and just what are the benefits of owning a travel business from the perspective of those people. Because you see me a lot here, I share my story. Why don't we share stories of other people as we have many of them? And today I have invited one of my uh, dear business partner who lives here locally where I live in South Florida uh, from Miami area. Her name is Ilona Nesterova. She is uh, an amazing woman with a lot of achievements behind her back. And we're going to talk about that as well. And she's here to, to share her story. She's been with us in the business uh, probably over three years, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm pretty sure she has a lot to share. So, Ilona, uh, first of all, let's start. Welcome. Thank you for being on a call with us today. Uh, tell a little bit about yourself. Who is Ilona Nesterova? <sighs> That's a big, big story, Ilona Nestero. So, hi guys, I live in Miami for over 10 years. I am a full-time mom, full-time wife, and full-time realtor. But besides doing the real estate in Miami, there is something that always was uh, my passion, which is uh, traveling. So wherever I go, I always take my selfie stick and I blog and I do blogging a lot and I travel and I like to visit new places. Then when I book, I uh, do research. I ask other people, was it good or not? I look reviews and everything. And it's been like that for over five years. Until I met uh, this opportunity and Jana gave it to me. And she said, listen, are you doing this? Are you taking selfie stick everywhere? Are you promoting all those resorts? Are you researching? So why are you not doing it all, all uh, for commission? And I'm like, can I do it? And you know, many times I had the dreams come true motivation on the happy new year. And I would say, I want to monetize what I do. I want to travel and get paid for what, uh, for, for the fact that I travel which happened different way. I wanted, I was hoping to be a travel blogger so resorts would invite me to do prom, to, to review the uh, resorts. But still, they invite you, you still need to pay money for flight, you still need to pay money for something. So being just a travel blogger is not enough. So the travel business gave me the opportunity to book travel and monetize on it. And I don't even have to be everywhere I book because I book for other people and make commission. This is the different level of travel. This is like when you make money, not only when you travel, but when other people travel and you book for them and you feel like you are flying the same way. Like I have just right now, my client returned from the cruise. Uh, they booked for uh, Royal Caribbean and they booked Happy New Year. And when she shared the videos of those balloons at midnight falling on their heads and everybody cheers and with the champagne, I know this feeling. I have goosebumps because I was there too. I know how it feels. And when my clients are feeling the same and they call me and they say, thank you, it was great. It was amazing choice. I am happy is like double not only doing for yourself but doing for others because I know it's good I know it's great that I sell dream it, it feels good to know that you are actually involved in creating those amazing memories for your clients right we are giving people great feelings great memories great time with their families and so much more and i really i i feel you and i love it i just actually received a text from my client he just arrived yesterday to iberia star property in cancun and i recommended them hotel i knew they're gonna love it and they are super happy with it they're like happy new year we're loving it here and you know it feels good because we know exactly what we are doing and we know how to make our clients happy 
Ilanka, yeah, go ahead. If you wanted to say something. I wanted to share that, like, thanks to our chats that I have, um, it's easier to look for good properties because we have thousands of resorts, beautiful resorts, Cancun and Mexico and the Dominican Republic. And sometimes you feel lost. So I'm very thankful that in our business, we have this chat where we can see the reviews, uh, find BDMs, uh, uh, look, ask other uh, travel agents, hey, have you been there? Is it nice? Is it good? How is it look? How is the scent? Do, do they have crocodiles or do they don't have a dolphins or something? So how is, how is the food? Can they go with kids or without? All of that is very important for me because sometimes I'm like, I go to the chat for all inclusive resources like i have two people they want to uh, enjoy life and they don't want to have any uh, kids around okay you you pick this this and this and there are many suggestions from our agents that they have the same requests so uh i i find it helpful to to be exactly in travel business with our chats what we have with our support what we have and with all those uh, reviews that our girls and boys are putting together uh, for the whole team yeah i totally agree with you and you know that's the power because our team is currently getting close to southern people and of course you have almost every single resort somebody been there somebody seen it somebody had clients somebody has client there right now and it's super super cool and i you just reminded me because you were asking about secrets in saint martin and i received another review i want to share with you today so i'm gonna do that after the call but uh, I do agree with you on that, and I think that's very, very powerful. And a lot of people, they are afraid that IntelliTravel is part of a network marketing company, and they are very skeptical about it, but this is actually what you are got, getting with it. the community of like-minded individuals who are in it with you, who are interested in your success, and who are ready to help you. I'm pretty sure, and I know, but matter of fact, that in other host agencies, you won't find those communities where people really that helpful, and we are travel agents are willing to spend their time to write the re review to share their opinion and so much more so that's that's really really powerful and that's something that you won't be able to find with other host agencies for sure not that many host agencies will have to offer that Ilonka uh, tell me uh, our topic for today is why uh, successful real estate agents adding uh, travel business to their portfolio let's say right to as an extra stream of income uh, tell us a little bit about that because I do speak with a lot of real estate agents and they are considering doing that I'm pretty sure in our Facebook group we do have a lot of agents who also looking as an option to add that stream of income or uh, just uh, thinking of where are the ways to make money. Give us a little bit from your personal perspective why it makes sense to add it. And if it makes sense, maybe compare a little bit travel industry with the real estate in industry. What's your opinion on that? Uh, at least five in my team, five of the business partners, they are um, uh, realtors. And it's convenient and it's smart to do because uh, the system of uh, getting paid for uh, bookings minus the host agency fee is approximately the same system like we are getting paid for real estate minus brokerage fee so the it works and you get all the tools and everything so it's nothing new um also when we are doing real estate some realtors are not doing it only here in miami in florida when i travel to dominican republic for example for vacation uh with my family that i book my myself and I get commission after I still go and I review I see the real estate properties the vacational rentals there or some um, land that I can combine while I am on vacation doing uh, family activities I still I keep looking for real estate I keep sharing so I can do half of the day oh I'm on the this is resort and this is my job 
to say, hey, this is the dog is beautiful. Come over if you want a book, I can book for you. But meanwhile, at the same time, another half of the day, I can go watch, look properties. I can hire a local driver and he can go and show me the properties and I will share it with my real estate clients. So I combine two and, uh, you know, in our days, we have only 24 hours in the day which is not anymore 24 hours but all those hours each hour you have to fill with um uh, money income producing uh, activities okay. i believe so uh, okay of course you can one hour read the book to recuperate from the uh, the routine and everything but still if in that in one hour after you didn't do anything to bring you money uh, well, you are like wasted one hour. So when you are on vacation, you are actually yes, vacating, but at least it's still working. So uh, that helps me as a realtor. When I was in Dubai, I booked it through our uh, travel portals all my stays in Dubai. And at the same moment, I went. I reached out to local realtors. I saw fourteen real estate projects new constructions and i still was doing reviews of the resource and sharing the new constructions with my uh real estate clients so it That's works a great way to combine so i'm not a real estate agent but the way i see it and the way i think and correct me if i'm wrong um for example your clients in real estate can become your travel clients as well because people do not buy houses that are often right i mean people go on vacation twice three times a year sometimes right you buy a house I don't know if it's not an investment once some people buy it once a lifetime you know so I'm just thinking that uh pick your clients who actually purchase home with you or did some real estate investment with you they can actually become your travel clients as well so you can keep generation income over and over again by helping the same people that you already know am I right here Absolutely, yes. And uh, some of my clients, they say, okay, we didn't buy a house with you, we'll book cruise with you. I'm like, okay, you owe me one. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and also, uh, a lot of my clients that are looking for real estate, you know, how many uh, apartments can buy one family? Maybe once in a half uh, lifetime, maybe there are investors that buy every day. How many family cruises or goes for all-inclusive all vacations? Maybe at least four times a year. So it's... Um, Okay, the commission is not as a, a, from real estate, but it's constant and it's immediate. And you you do the sale, you know what you're doing, and you get paid afterwards. And it's not like when you show the house and half of the year you you advertise the house and maybe it's not gonna even be sold. So in real estate, when something doesn't go right like the market is slow or something i'm still making money on travel which is constant which is all the time oh you want to go there snow resorts okay i'm going to send you to snow resorts while i'm still i have showings today i do showing but in the evening when they come i'm still uh, booking uh, travel for my clients Okay, so it's a great way to combine uh what is your opinion in general about uh, travel business when it comes to people who are afraid to start, they are afraid to make changes in their life, but they are looking for new sources of income. Um, you, you know, those uh, people that uh, are directed only in one business, uh, I remember one person was afraid to start travel business just because she considers herself a lawyer. I'm like, okay, you're a lawyer. You can become travel agent. You don't have to become travel, like uh, do, do the tra planet marketing if you don't want. But at least even if you book travel for your office, you have corporate meetings of your office 
outside you have girl strips for your office all your immigration lawyers they are uh, they are going with you you book from somewhere in mexico and you go together why don't you be a travel agent uh, uh, become a travel business owner and book it for them make it a group and write uh, and uh, in the end of the day write it off as an office expense because you took them for this corporate thing um that's why to me sometimes that is to talk to accountant about that but to me i believe that people they just don't see they're like they have shores like a horse is going and they were afraid to open up and uh, those that did open i know for sure there are my colleagues that they are doing travel they don't book for everybody in the world they but for their clients that they buy houses i know at least three they book for them the vacations as well I, you and know, you know in fact you can even give it as a gift you can you know because uh me when i close something i give it as a gift to myself i go for vacation somewhere when i have closing but also for your clients if you can with us you can book uh, you know uh excursions you can book uh, cruises you can book um, uh, all inclusive hotels car rentals everything if I am very nice, I can give to somebody a vacation gift certificate towards their future cruise or something that they can use towards their future vacations or maybe, uh, I don't know, tickets to somewhere. And it's going to cost me less because I know how to get it uh, in better deal with, uh, and I get commission for that. I am so happy that you mentioned about that sometimes people when they do something like when they are professionals, lawyers, doctors, whatever it is, I was just, I was literally just in the mall and thinking about it like, okay, I'm a doctor, I don't want to see anything, I'm just a doctor, I spent all my life studying, and there is nothing wrong with that, that's actually very cool, and we have a lot of respect for professionals, we do need them in their life, and I know those people love their jobs, but we all know that it's not smart to keep all money in one basket, right, and while we recommending you to do the business or at least take a look at the business it's always good to take a look and see how that can help you to impact your life in better way right help you travel more maybe help you to generate extra sources of income so you have a plan b or whatever the reasons are so this is the only thing what i was trying to add when it comes to speaking about professionals because honestly uh i mean Keeping eggs in one basket after all pandemic and everything, we all know it's not a very good idea, right? You always have to be smarter. But um, it is what it is. One more thing. So we all know that our business is not just uh, being a travel agent. We do also have a network marketing part of it, which is called Planet Marketing Company. And I know, Ilana, that you, after three years in a business for the past year, have been very intentional with it. Tell me what do you see in this company for yourself? Why network marketing? Why planet marketing? And why do you think it worth your time? Six times I said, MLM? No. Piramida? No. But uh, multi-level marketing is everything here. It's like Christmas tree. There is somebody and somebody and somebody, even the corporation that is a corporate business, somebody is inve uh, um, inventing and somebody starts and then it grows. And it doesn't mean that on the whole Christmas tree, there is not enough of Christmas toys and decorations for everybody in this beautiful uh, life. And as long as uh, it brings income and you share the opportunity uh, the same way like uh, you would share uh, suggestions for good salon, for good restaurant, the same way you share the opportunity to book travel and get paid for it, why not? So to me, it took me some time because in the beginning I didn't do nothing. I was like, oh my God, I will not tell to people because they will, I will lose all my friends. And you know, many of my um, 
even relatives, they said, you want to lose all your friends? They will be afraid to pick up your the phone. I said, why? They will come to me to ask, how do you book travel? And this is what eventually happened. Because if, first, you they watch you. Everybody watch you. Oh, you already this? Yes, and this I can do too. Because, you know, I know many people... I, I am like in law enforcement working, but in the evening I play guitar in the bar because I like singing. So why don't you in the evening be doing something else, like doing uh, 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 travel and share these opportunities with others because it's it doesn't cost you nothing. Just open your mouth and say, hey, I by the way, I do this and this. And if you the person is interested, uh, company is giving you a benefit it, it you are getting paid for sharing the opportunity it's win-win situation so to me yes plus um you know that uh the uh, compensation system is very good the plan is very strong uh you get paid for uh, helping to each person then you paid monthly residually then you get paid after you have already helped nine people and you share it with them opportunity. They know how to book. They know how to where to find information. Uh, you benefit from seeing them grow. You see how they book and how they they vacate, how they make money too. And the beauty of this business is it's one of the very rare thing when uh, you get paid ten percent commission of every on everything that your agents book as well. Commission match is not taken from them. They the company gives to you what they learn to do thanks to you one day sharing the opportunity. They and it's they. Are saying to you thank you isn't it beautiful so to me when somebody said hey um i want to find out how to become a travel agent but i don't want to do another part okay it's your choice but there is much more beauty afterwards and it's like a plug you know it brings electricity even if you don't know how it does it just connect this plug too and eventually it will come to you and especially because company gives three months for you to decide are you a good network marketer or not and there is enough of literature and education and motivational calls and webinars and seminars to actually grow and understand in your mind because if you don't have it in your mind uh, you don't have it with your heart. You, 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 it has to work work together. You want to want to help to people. Like there are, there are people that say, "Oh, I don't have money." I said, exactly because you don't have money, you have to start to do it to help others, to help yourself. Because some people say that it's a joke. It's not a joke if you treat it like a, a hobby. So hobby will be your expats, but if you treat it like a business. The business is going to bring you money and joy. Yeah, I totally agree with you. And uh, the just the fact that on love our company, we can only grow by helping other people grow. This is, I've, I've had businesses before. I've had jobs before. And honestly, everywhere, pretty much you're there by yourself. Nobody wants you to grow. Nobody is willing to help you, to guide you. Nobody is willing for you, to make you replace them unless they are getting promoted and stuff like that, you know. And that's this industry we are at is very genuine. And that's the beauty of it. And I know for some people, it sounds too good to be true. But counting that we have no risk involved, right? It's, it's going to be too bad not to try it, right? Because I was I was just talking with my girls today. And they were like, um, why people should start this business? Because if they don't like something in their life, they should be afraid not to start the business. Literally, with business, where are no risks involved. If people at least a little bit interested in travel, if people at least a little bit interested to generate extra sources of income, to learn something new, to understand how travel industry works from inside, or just to find some cool, exciting hobby that can turn into an earning income potential, right? Uh, they should be scared not to try because they can lose out on something pretty cool. I can't even think of the day when I would have said no, I don't know what I would be doing right now. Seriously. It's like, 
I feel like by finding this opportunity, I want a jackpot. Because it's like, I wake up every day and I'm happy to go to sit down in my computer. I'm excited to work. I'm excited to go on a trips. And it's, it's just business that gives me pure joy and excitement. And it's super cool. And this is why we are always happy to share about this opportunity with others. Because we know, at least I know, it changed my life. I know it changed your life, right, as well. You travel more. You travel differently, as I can tell. And uh, I got even comments. How dare you be boasting to travel to so many countries? I said, does it mean you want to become a travel business owner? <laughs> exactly. This is so true. Yeah. So, uh, all right. I wanted to say thank you so much, Ilanka, for being on a call with us today. It was very nice to hear your side of the story and your perspective. How do you see this business? I wish you all the best success in this year. Uh, and uh, we are looking forward to see you guys tomorrow, by the way, in Miami. If you guys in Miami area, me, Ilana, you coming? I am coming. I wanted to add something very important. Um. If you guys have residual expenses, bills for phone and everything, you should have residual income for sure to create it. And just now I understand, uh, I have a listing in Fort Lauderdale. To go one day, one way and come back, it cost me 50 bucks to put gas and show and come back. And when people ask me, why do I have to pay $39.99 for all the booking engines for my website for everything i said because you can put your butt in your uh, sofa open your computer from the leisure of your house or balcony or pool or beach or resort and just book travel while sitting where you like to sit and it will bring you money because you are providing services this is why so to me when i pay 39 99 and 19 which is totally like 60 it cost me for the whole month to do so many bookings and opportunities and invite uh, to and help to so many people in my business that driving maybe one time a day cost me 50 just to hope that they will rent. So that is the beauty that you can do it totally full home-based uh, business that you can do from the leisure of your computer of your house. I love it. I love it. Very, very good that you mentioned that. And you, you're right. Like with our business, I've never count those expenses as a big expenses because I well, always we say that having business like we have, if I have extra expenses, I know exactly what I need to do to generate those money. Right. If I need that, I need a couple of hundred bucks. What do I do? I go online, do a little marketing, ask my friends and family where they travel in soon. If I can help them book those trips and stuff, boom. Right. As soon as they come back, yes. I get a check. So it's pretty easy to generate those income with the business like we have. So it totally makes sense. And we never put in ourselves in a situation where, okay, we're desperate and we don't know what to do. We know exactly what to do right exactly. okay so guys tomorrow thursday at 6 p.m we are meeting in miami airport uh marriott resort uh me and ilona will be there they're also going to be our number one at the moment income earner a millionaire mr shredrick white uh he is our top leader and we're going to be sharing about what is this that we do you're going to get an opportunity to meet us talk to us personally and uh, get to know the story of our millionaire as well well, get to hear about our company and just spend an amazing time together so if you guys live in Miami area or you're willing to drive we're looking forward to see you you can send me or Ilona a message and let us know that you comment so we can greet you there and we'll see you all right thank you so much Ilona for coming and I'll see you thank tomorrow. you see you tomorrow bye bye, -bye.